Yay. So, we're going to see how Dr. Webb does against the real thing that matters. The actual malware prevention. So, I'm going to open up the browser here. And I definitely like to use Internet Explorer 6. That way it's all against the antivirus. So this is a, a pure rogue. This is a scanner. And it's one of those pain in the neck ones. So let's see if I can just make it ask me to download the file. So it's blocked the URL. It's called it a malicious program. And URL is blocked. Malicious program is detected. So that's a real... oh, hang on. So that's good. That was a success. It's that's what Spider Gabe does. It's more it seems more like a web guard. So it found a virus. It calls it a Trojan Pact five four one. So if we cure this, we'll actually delete it. That's gone. This is an exploit. And it's finding different things that are loading into the computer. It's called an inject. So if we take a look in this task manager, I don't see anything malicious. It's another Trojan. Well, it's adware. I'm going to leave that alone. It's merely adware, so I'm not as concerned if it doesn't detect that because it's it's not really something that'll hurt the computer. Okay? This is like the same thing as the other one. That's not a surprise. This is, I believe, another exploit. It blocked the URL. It found another malicious program. This is uh, another type of Trojan. And it's found the file. And if we delete that, we're all set. So it's again found something else, a dropper, it looks. And I can just delete it. Is this the same thing? And... My guess is it's gone. It should be that easy. This next one is an exploit. Exploits are kind of tough to gauge when I gather the links. Because... Sometimes they work. And sometimes they don't. And this one doesn't seem to work. Because for me, I can't test the exploit to see if it has a file behind it or whatever, because then I basically infected the computer. So this is a another pain in the neck kind of thing. It's a. It looks like a viewer. It looks like a um something you want to see, and it tells you it's a long video, and it has so many views, and so many people bookmark the video. So great, I gotta see this. The first thing that tells me it's fake is the fact that it's showing me this image thing. 
when I go over it asks me if I want to save or print the image that automatically tells me it's it's fake it's an image linked to something or it's an image the other thing that I know is I have an updated flash version and because of that that's what all online players use or QuickTime and therefore it will tell me to go to a website. It never tells you to just download and run the application. Okay, so it's it's found some malware. So if we delete, there are, the, there are a couple things you can do. Akir removes the malicious code from the file. Rename renames the file. This is one of the easier things to do to reduce maliciousness of files. This is best with rootkits because they won't load then. Even if you can't delete them, you can technically rename them. Or you can change the file extension by renaming it to like .old. And that will prevent it from loading on startup and therefore you can kind of eliminate a rootkit as long as it doesn't have an exe uh, remaking it. And you can move it, so that'll remove it from the system32 directory and therefore it won't load if that's a rootkit. But in this case I can just delete it. And this is... I'll just delete it again. And I'll take a look at this. This is another Trojan. And it de detects it before it even asks me to download it, I believe. If I click run, nothing happens. Because it just can't run. So, that was a, that was a pretty good test. Dr. Webb does quite well uh, against the kind of stuff I threw at it. Um, I don't have enough time to get many more links, but I can take a look if I can get like four more or something. So I'll be right back. Okay, I was going to get more reviews here, but I got this pop-up. Then I got this chance to win $50,000. And I got a file download. You can't see with this ad, and you can't close the ad. Um, whatever, I got a file download for a PHP document. And I got an uh, alert that I had a rootkit. So, I'm going to try to delete this. And if I close this, I still have that. Okay. And... It seems to be rebooting here. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and see what happens. And I'll be right back when I figure it out. Bam, this is a big smack in the face here. I just rebooted. And I get this. Your computer is infected. Windows has detected a spyware infection. Oh dear. It is re recommended you use special anti-spyware tools to prevent data loss. Ooh, they're going to take me to some real site. But what happens with Dr. Webb? I mean, if I click on this, Antivirus Pro 2010, I crumbs. Let's just say that Dr. Webb missed a few things and that there's not much I can do about it. Uh, even though it seemed to get it, a few things got through. So, thanks for watching. Dr. Webb seemed to have done a pretty good job, but there are these few things that aren't too great. Oh, well, it found a few things, so I will give it that heads up.